Alright, in this lesson we're going to talk about making equilateral triangles. An equilateral triangle is a triangle where all the sides are the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to be given a line segment and we're going to make this equilateral triangle have all the same lengths as that line segment. All those sides have to be equal to or congruent to the line segment given, in this case AB. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so you guys can see this a little bit more. This is actually a pretty easy concept. All you need is that compass and a pencil. Make sure that pencil's sharp. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our center of our compass on one of these points. I'm gonna go with A. And then I'm gonna find the circle uh, out to B. Okay. And I'm gonna draw just a quarter of that circle. I don't need any more than that. And in fact, I can use this same circle. All I got to do is take it over, take the center from A over to B, and draw that same circle. You'll also know, note here, uh, this circle also goes over to A. So we can go up from A to just draw a quarter of the circle. Uh, you'll see that these do intersect here. I'm going to call that point C. You'll notice I have three points here. This line segment AB is the center of this circle. And uh, if we were to uh, think about this circle right here, this, that would be this, the same circle, but, but B is the center. So they're actually the same size circle uh, with the same radius. Um, but also, if A is the center of that circle, that means that this line segment here must be congruent to this line segment here because they are the same radius of this circle right here. And if we were to draw the line segment from B over to C, well this one, this line segment BC must be congruent uh, to uh, this line segment uh, here, AC, because it's the, it's, they're all the center of the same circle basically, they're all the same radius. So uh, we have all these sides lengths of the same, that would be the notation for that would be the line segment AB is congruent to the line segment that's AB. So let's do BC. And that's congruent to uh, AC. All those lines are the same. Therefore, the triangle ABC is equilateral because all the sides are the same. Let's do a smaller one now. Got a little tiny one here. Uh, the line segment VW, we're going to make an equilateral triangle from that. In this case, I'm not going to be using this swivel. I'm going to be using this one right here. So put, put your center on one of those points and turn this around to find out what, the, what one of those dots works. Looks like the second dot here. Draw a quarter of that circle. Keep that in mind, that point right there. And we're going to move this center up here to W. Just to make sure this is the right dot, we're going to make sure it goes over B, and it does. And we're going to draw a quarter of that circle. It's this point right here. Let's call this Z as I can. We've got one side here of our triangle already drawn. Let's try the other two sides. W to Z. And then from V to Z. This segment is congruent to this one, and this one because they are all the radius, the same radius of the same uh, circle. I'm going to zoom in on that just a little bit so you can see that. There we go. Okay. And the notation for that's going to look like this uh, VW, that's this one right here. That line segment is going to be congruent to WZ. And that is also going to be congruent to VZ. Okay. All those side lengths are the same, therefore this triangle is equilateral. And that's how we draw equilateral triangles. Alright, here's a few more examples. Um, I'm going to do one of these for you. The worksheet can be found in class. I'm going to do this one here. The instructions are to construct an equilateral triangle given the line segment. Make sure to label all your points, just like we've been doing this whole unit. 
Uh, the next section is not the same thing as you can see there are circles down there. So let's construct an equilateral triangle given a line segment here. Grab your compass, make sure you got that ready to go, and let's start labeling some of these points. Let's call this one A, call this one B, and I'm actually going to make my triangle on this side instead of this side this time. I'll show you how that's done. Place your center on one of those points. I'm going to go with A and find a circle that works. Just pick your closest one. This one's going to work for me. Draw a quarter of that circle. Move your center over to the other point and draw another quarter of that circle. As long as you get that intersection point, it's good to go. Okay, so we should have something that looks like this. You zoom in on that just a little bit. Okay, and we do have an intersecting point. Call this whatever you want. I'm going to go with C. And then draw these line segments in from A to C and then from B to C. Make those nice lines. Don't let that compass or that straight edge move. And there we go. Let's not forget those marks and that notation. The line segment AB is congruent to BC, and BC is congruent to AC. They're all congruent because they share the same radius of the same circle. It's line segment AB. It's congruent to line segment BC, which is congruent to line segment AC. So AC, AB, and BC. You're all congruent, making this right here an equilateral triangle.